How you doing? Steve Noble, Noble Moto here. Uh, gonna replace the uh, engine mounts on a uh, 05 Dyna Super Glide. Uh, on these Dynas, uh, they've been known to have engine mount problems. Uh, the rubber and the uh, vibration isolation engine mount deteriorates, and then these things get loose. And then, uh, you know, your motor moves around too much, or even like high speed sweepers, you get that handlebar shimmy thing going on, uh, and that's no fun. Um, so, yeah, gonna get right to it. Uh, first, going to swap out the rear one, then it'll switch camera around, swap out the front one. Um, so, here we go. All right, here we are. Uh, got the uh, frame support here up on my brick and wood block set up here. Because uh, you want to unload the suspension on this whole thing. Uh, next thing I did down here is I took my uh, scissor jack out of my car and uh, jacked up here on the uh, bottom of the transmission case. That just kind of takes a little bit of load off the engine mount and off the bolts. Uh, the goal while doing this is to remove as little stuff as possible so we aren't going to tear half the bike apart like uh, everybody else seems to do when they do this replacement. So, All right, over here on the left side of the bike. Uh, the only other real preps I did to it was I unbolted the rear shocks on both sides here. Uh, and the idea behind that is that way I can lift up the rear suspension and get as much access to these bolts back up here as possible. And I just took a good old bottle jack, jacked it up a little bit, just enough to kind of unload the thing get it up out of the way. Shock bolts, just unbolted right there, nothing else. All right, here we are, uh, back over on the left side of the bike. And um, what we basically want to start doing is we want to go around and break all the bolts free. Um, now up in here, and I'll give you an up close look at it in a minute, uh, but up in here you've got two, there's three eighths bolts in there. Uh, the, it's a 9 16th nut. Uh, you can actually access them in this little gap right here in between the uh, passenger peg mount, if your gen has this in the uh, back of the primary there. The point is you can reach in here with 9 16 socket, a swivel on there, and of course a very lengthy extension. Get them back on there and break that one free. And then break that one free. What we're gonna end up doing is we'll put a wrench on the other side uh, to hold the bolt. Um, and then we'll come back around here and wrench them all the way free off of there. Uh, but first, uh, I'll give you a close look of those top bolts, and then I will show you the um, back to 3 8 bolts that actually hold the engine mount to the frame. All right, so here we go. All right, here we are on the shaky cam. Uh, you can see up in there, there these two back bolts right there, and then this one right there. Those are the uh, top bolts on the engine mount. All right, still here on the left side of the bike. What we've got here is 3 8 ratchet. Uh, with an extension and a 3 8 deep well socket on there uh, and a swivel of course and what that's basically going to do is that's going to give me enough length to get the ratchet up in here and hang it off the back of the nut all right and that's going to hold everything in place this might be a little absurd but trust me this will work uh, and the ratchet will sit here in place behind the kickstand and the uh, you know suspension mount there or the passenger peg mount there and uh, then we'll be able to go around to the uh, right side and uh, get the ratchet in there and break the bolt free. Then we'll switch to the front bolt of the engine mount and do the same thing. And uh, once we have them both broke free, we will wrench them all the way out. All right, uh, just show you, we got the uh, 916 wrench or socket wrench hanging off the uh, nut on the other side. Got the uh, 916 socket swivel, very lengthy extension on a 3 8 ratchet. We're gonna get down there from this side, get on the nut. I can hardly see in this light. All right, of course, we've got one bolt that uh, the nut came off and backed halfway out, then the bolt stuck. Uh, and then what I ended up doing was I adjusted the uh, engine mount or the uh, jack I have here a little bit, try to uh, move the motor and trans around a little bit, try to take a little bit extra load off it. It seems to be free, but I just can't quite get it with fingertips. I have these absurdly long pair of needle nose pliers here that I picked up at God, I don't know where. It should be enough to. Ta da! Well, it's sitting up there. Ta-da! And of course, the last bolt. All right, this right here is why I ended up uh, unbolting the shock mounts. 
You could probably get away without unbolting them, but I did anyways. You can see right there, there are two Allen bolts, two 3 8 Allen bolts, and uh, the drain tube for my batteries in the way. Uh, so we're gonna back the camera out to right about here. I'm gonna take the ratchet, put it in here. Now, full disclosure, before I record, I did break all these bolts free. Uh, so they are just gonna wrench out a lot easier than initially looked. Oop, ratchet jammed up on me. There's the bottom bolt. And uh, I'm gonna get up in there on the top bolt. Almost there. Any day now. There it is. There's our bolt. Here's our engine mount. Uh, there it is. Good old Harley mount. Good old Harley. All right, out here in my driveway, so hopefully you can get a little better uh, idea of what's going on. But you can see um, this is your actual rubber here, and then this is the rubber up here too. But you can see uh, right here where there's a crack. This is probably separated, if not part of the way through, if not all the way through, through for sure part of the way through. You can see it right down there too. Um, so that was probably causing a ton of vibration. If you look up here on the end, you can see it was split there. Around the other side, it was split. Whoops. Well, you can see it right down there. See, it was split down there, split down there. So luckily, the new one has none of that. It's all vulcanized together. Kind of backwards here. Uh, new one has none of that. It's all vulcanized together. So should be a pretty good setup. All right, we got our new engine mount here. And uh, basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do most of the reinstallation on time lapse here. And uh, you know, just going to put it up in there. And the big thing, I'm gonna start the two bolts in from the back and not tighten them up right away. That way I still have a bunch of slop. That way I can get the bolts in from the other side into the top mounts and still have a bunch of wiggle room to get them in there. And once everything's in, everything's started, then I'll kind of go around and uh, tighten them up evenly. All right, here we are. Uh, just got the uh, nuts on there that you saw. I uh, got them on from this side. Ended up putting the bolt in from the right side over here. Uh, that's the way it was from the factory. It was a lot easier to assemble that way. Uh, so I got my 3 8 ratchet, uh, 916 socket on the swivel here. Uh, we're going to stick it through there, tighten them up, torque it all down, and uh, then move the back bolt, torque it down the manufacturer's specifications. Then from there, we will go to the uh, Allen bolts on the back of the uh, engine mount. All right, those are torqued down to uh, manufacturer's specifications. Got our uh, 3 8 ratchet again here and a uh, 5 16 Allen bolt. And we're going to tighten back the engine mounts, the uh, back Allen bolts on the engine mount. Uh, like I said, these were already ran in just a little bit. Now we're actually going to torque them all down. Well, all right, finish running them in, then we'll torque them all down.
tighten up the bottom one. Then uh, tighten up the top bolt. All right, going to recheck the bottom bolt just to ensure that that is tight. Uh, torque that one to manufacturer's specification. And there you have it. Uh, that is the rear engine mount on the Dyna. Now we're going to move around to the front mount and uh, show you what's going on there. Got the new engine mount right here. Uh, we're just going to pop it right into place. Uh, I'll talk you through it. Um, should Everything should line up pretty much nicely. Uh, just a side note, I actually had to lift the motor up uh, probably a quarter inch uh, from where the old one was. That should pretty much explain to you how far out the old one was, how far it had sagged down. Uh, so you really don't want to wait to let these things go until your bike shimmies all over the highway in a high-speed turn and almost plants you in the wall like happened to me three days ago. So, let's get to it here. i slide up underneath there. And uh, let's slide the upper bolt in here to keep it lined up. Find the uh, washer that fell off of here. Take the other 3 inch bolt. Slide it across there. Slide it right in the hole. Everything lines up. Now we're going to take our 3 8 bolts here. Uh, no Loctite's required, according to the manual. Uh, we'll just put them in there. Tighten them up. Red that one in there. Take the other one in the bottom there. Red that in there. Gonna take our ratchet. Flip it to the right direction. I'll run them in all the way, or almost all the way. I'm not gonna tighten them up until we get the uh, nuts and everything on the uh, top one. That's pretty close. Pretty close there. So then we got the nut up top. Run that in. Got the other nut up top here. All right, everything's snug into place. Gonna take our uh, 916 ratchet and our 916 ratchet and wrench. I'm gonna put them in there. We'll tighten that down to. Manufacturer's specifications. Switch to the other upper bolt. So I want to get the thread in a little bit more by hand. Manufacturer specification. Now we're going to go back the Allen bolts here on the front. Run those both in all the way. And once again, I'll tighten that up to manufacturer specifications. All right, everything's on, everything's tightened up. I'm uh, going to bolt the rear shocks back into place, then I'll pull the jacks out, uh, take off the lift, take it for a test drive. Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, click like, share, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can check out my website at www.noblemoto.com. Uh, that is K-N-O-B-L-E-M-O-T-O.com. I'm on Instagram at noble underscore moto. That is K-N-O-B-L-E underscore moto. And uh, Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Noble Moto, again, for the K. Uh, I teach classes up at Skidmark Garage. 
Uh, everybody's welcome to Skidmark. Uh, if you want to take class from me or learn anything more about anything at all relating to motorcycles, any way, shape, or form, um, either send me email or put me a message below or a comment or uh, you know send out a carrier pigeon or whatever works for you. Um, that's all I got. Ride fast, take chances. See ya.